hey friends, you should not panic because of the coronavirus, which has gotten to proportions of a pandemic. There are authentic measures proven by science to proactively prevent the coronavirus from reaching you and the people around you. I am your friendly guide, Mr. Smart, in acquiring this authentic information about the coronavirus. Consider subscribing to me if you like this content. This content. At the making of this video, there is no vaccine to prevent the coronavirus. The best way to prevent illness is to avoid exposure to this virus. UN Health Agency World Health Organization and the U.S. Health Protection Agency Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or in short, CDC, recommend these preventive actions. 1. Frequently washing your hands is the most important preventive measure you can take against the coronavirus. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after going to the bathroom before eating and after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. If soap and water are not readily available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. It's quite possible that the virus is present on frequently touched surfaces, such as doorknobs. However, according to the World Health Organization, or WHO, Early information suggests viral particles would be likely to survive for just a few hours after someone who is sick with the virus has touched a surface after sneezing or coughing into their hand or rubbing their eye. That's why personal preventive steps like frequently washing hands with soap and water or an alcohol-based hand sanitizer and wiping down often touched surfaces with disinfectants or household cleaning sprays are a good idea. The Health Protection Agency of the United States, CDC, recommends the following five steps every time you wash your hands. 1. Wet your hands with clean, running water. Water being warm or cold makes no difference. Running water is preferred because hands could become recontaminated if placed in a basin of standing water that has been contaminated through previous use. Now, turn off the tap to save water and apply soap. 2. Lather your hands by rubbing them together with the soap. Especially lather the backs of your hands, between your fingers and under your nails. Microbes are present on all surfaces of the hand, often in particularly high concentrations under the nails. 3. Scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. 4. Rinse your hands well under clean, running water. Soap and friction help lift dirt and disease-causing germs from the skin, which should be effectively rinsed off. 5. Dry your hands using a clean towel or air dry them. Remember that germs can be transferred more easily to and from wet hands. Therefore, hands should be dried after washing. 2. In addition to frequently washing your hands, maintain a social distance of at least 1 meter or 3 feet between yourself and anyone who is coughing or sneezing. When someone coughs or sneezes, they spray small liquid droplets from their nose or mouth which may contain the virus. If you are too close, you can breathe in the droplets including the COVID-19 virus if the person coughing has the disease. 3. Furthermore, avoid touching your eyes, nose, or mouth. 4. Stay home when you are sick. 5. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue, then throw the tissue into the trash. 6. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces using a regular household cleaning spray or wipe. Yes, I know you are thinking about the use of a mask to prevent the coronavirus. CDC does not recommend that people who are well wear a face mask to protect themselves from respiratory diseases, including COVID-19. Face masks should be used by people who show symptoms of COVID-19 to help prevent the spread of the disease to others. The use of face masks 
is also crucial for health workers and people who are taking care of someone in close settings, at home or in a health care facility. My friends, share this video with your dear ones. If you have found this information useful, subscribe to me if you want to live a smart and proactive life on five levels, physical, mental, social, professional, and financial. Live long, smart living.